traffic was awful. Tan Man really made a mess. Seems like you're getting the hang of that thing. <laughs> well, it is convenient in the city, but I'm not convinced I'm a bike person. You convinced me. What's wrong? I got fired. so excited about this job. I know. I had the whole semester planned out. Next week, we were gonna make a potato-powered helicopter. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I might be joining you in the unemployment line. Jonah already cleaning house? Sort of. He's instituting a radical meritocracy. <sighs> Yikes, what does that even mean? It means that whoever doesn't write a front-page story in the next week is fired. Oh, well, you'll be fine then, because you're the best reporter they have. What you got in there? <laughs> Unsold some Kariot books. Running out of storage at my place. But you got great reviews. I sold 14 copies. Nobody wanted to read about some Karia. The Bugle is the biggest outlet in the city. I can make a difference there. But if I get fired, I don't know what I'll do. Do you even need the Bugle to do what you want to do? I tried making an impact from the outside and... 14 copies. Now I... I need to change things from the inside. I haven't had time to clean. <laughs> Back room? Yeah. I'm just gonna tidy up a bit. Maybe May had a point. Can't take too much on. Something's gotta give. I should go check on MJ. Just got a tip. Raf's moving a couple of inmates to Ravencroft tomorrow for evaluation. They say who? No. But I'm gonna find out. <laughs> MJ! <laughs> Whoa. Doctors haven't cleared me for MJ hugs yet. Sorry. <laughs> Harry. I missed you. I missed you too. I heard about May. So sorry. So how was Europe? Yeah, sorry about all that. I was being treated in isolation here in the city, and I, I didn't want you guys to worry about me. Is it the same thing your mom had? It was. Past tense. We think it's in remission. Harry, this is... <laughs> I can't believe it. You look great. I feel great. I have to get to work. Dinner tomorrow? Coney Island? World time's sake? It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. That's a little skill she picked up when we were in Sakaria. Sorry for coming by unannounced and all. What? No, are you kidding? You want to come inside? Actually... I was hoping you might have time to go for a ride with me. Sure. I'm surprised the frugal flyer is still on the road. I was thinking we might roll like we used to. Ooh. Is that my old bike? Nah, I, I found it on the internet. It's a close match though, right? Wow. Yeah. It's even got the same stickers and everything. You sure this isn't my bike? You ready? Yeah. Where are we going? You'll see. Come on. Try to keep up. Hard play hard. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna go see if I can win a couple more unicorns.
You look really happy. It's funny. Harry's getting a second chance, but I feel like I'm getting one too. You two are gonna make a hell of a team. <laughs> the Bugle posted. Did Jonah put you on the front page? Oh, you're gonna be an editor. I should have brought champagne. Hunters and scorpions and explosions, oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. MJ, uh, yeah. It already has 5,000 views. <sighs> I've got to write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you come up with something. You always do. Thanks. Sure. And, hey! If you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team, too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. MJ, I'm at an abandoned zoo in Jersey. It's... to get in the cage, and Connor's shackles need that key. Just have to find them. Come on, MJ. Your Simparian is still good. Enough. Just answer. It Vika. Vika, Monguznok. Vika, the tech voice. Garin, elegem vana, hiva shaipol. Pol vana, ka kezulekes kodok. A kodok, shorosato, os informatios, tablan van. 
te pedi gas tut hat nad. Mi en hongon vesel het velem. Ne hiv terbet. Nerta feyet be kerul het. That felt kind of nice. All right, better move before he comes looking. You know this beast. His name is Kurt Connors. He's a good man. There are no good men. Only good prey. There's a lab in the atrium. Might have a serum. Serum! I don't have much time. Then we'll buy you some. Right up the hill. That glass building. Please, hurry. We'll clear a path. Keep your heads down. This, 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 I can use this to make an antidote.
Pete. Please stay with us. Come on. Pete, come on, this is nothing. I remember in fifth grade when you... No. No. You gotta stay awake, buddy. Pete! MJ, get him out of here. I'll handle this. Got it. MJ, I'm on my way. What are you? Track the lizard. The spider is mine. Stop hovering. I'm fine. Maybe some water. Water. On it. So, the suit cured your... Yeah. Which means without it, you... Yeah. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get this back onto Harry. How did you give it to me? I... I, I don't know. It just... sort of happened. Uh, let me try. Pete, there's something in here. What? Uh, uh. Okay, not what I... What the... Uh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Let me try it again. Find Dr. Connors. Except he's a drilling reptile right now. Craven, the serum, he had it around his neck. That's what he used on Dr. Connors. If we find that serum, we, we could analyze it, use the equipment here to, to engineer a cure. And bring Dr. Connors back from the land of the lizard. I'll start tracking down Craven. He's probably already cleared out of that zoo by now. Well, lucky for us. He left a piece of himself behind. That's the story I was telling you about. I wanted to get your thoughts. Looks amazing, MJ. Can't wait to read it. Wait, you're still in the suit. I thought Connors was gonna help you get it off. What about Harry? Sorry, can we do this tomorrow? Just...
is so big from Lizard Ragley. Still in there, Peter. You have to be. Pete, wake up. Wake up. might sting a little. Look! <laughs> 
hope you managed better than I did, Miles. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I need that suit back. Pete. Um. What do you remember about last night? I just remember feeling tired. You're not yourself. That suit is changing you. This suit is the only reason I'm still alive. Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? Why don't you pop some more pills and say what you really feel? Hey, don't. I'm busting my ass out there trying to save you, and this is what I get? I said don't. I saw your story. I tried to tell you about that. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? I can't lose this job. Your job is to write the truth. I did. The truth is, I'm the hero here, not you. <sighs> I hate this. I love this. You do? <laughs> You've hit the nail on the head. Finally! Top story. Everybody's talking about it. This is editor material. Editor? Congratulations. Your first assignment, write more juicy stuff by tomorrow morning. Drama, controversy, just like this. Like this. Get writing! <sighs> MJ. I, uh, didn't get fired from the Bugle. In fact, I think I, I got a promotion. Hey, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah, I, I thought it was. Then that's... Great. Hey, listen. Something's gone wrong with Harry. What? What happened? Well... Hang on, someone's at the door. It's kind of hard to explain. Just promise me you'll stay away from him, okay? MJ? MJ! Where's... Harry. Pete? You look tense. Coffee? We need to talk. You must get tired making the world a better place every single day. But I can help. All you have to do is let me. This isn't you. Wrong. This is the real me. I finally have the power to realize our vision. Giving up on me? Harry, we need to get that thing off you. Do not call us a thing. Harry, we are not Harry.
I need you! Don't lie to me! Pete! I need you too! I've been trying to be something I'm not. I'm glad you're back. Sorry. It wasn't you. And I wasn't me earlier. Pete, I... Pete, it... It was like some kind of hive mind in there. I saw you. And Harry, he, he was going after this rock. Miles is at City Hall. Go. I love you. I love you.
good, man? Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you We'll come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough. For everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Thank <laughs> you. 
Heat. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. I'm sorry. I'm 
I'm sorry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. 
This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> you ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's 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 great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about, Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <sighs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Big bro. See you. 